The top stories covering the corridor tonight. Iowa is experiencing a serious dry spell. Several counties are already claiming drought conditions. It's not just a concern for farmers. Firefighters say it can affect everyone. Kelsey Miner is live in Cedar Rapids tonight to explain how. Kelsey. Well, it can affect anyone in grassy areas, and that's pretty much all of us. You see the lack of rain caused this brownish green color on the ground here, and authorities say it's so dry that it can easily catch fire. It's just something about being outdoors in the summer that's very enticing. It's great. You get, get a tan. Take a little guy out for a little walk and get him some sun. Whether it's taking a walk around the park or if you like the VIX, taking advantage of a perfect day for flying a kite. It's Father's Day and my daughter and her husband and two kids uh, were decided to come to the park to... I thought we were going to shoot off rockets, but we're going to fly kites instead because it's too windy. While today might be the perfect day for outdoor fun, it is sparking some concern for some. Take, for instance, this dry ground here. Throwing something as simple as a cigarette out of a window onto this dry grass could start a major fire. If you look outside, you can see the condition that the grass is in. From Norwich Park in Cedar Rapids to right in front of the fire station in Marion, we found several spots of brown grass. The lack of water turns it that color, and with the lack of rain here in the corridor, firefighters worry about the potential for grass fires. Conditions are right and ripe right now that a grass fire could very easily start. And because of that, Marion Brush One is always ready. When we get on scene, We'll dump out these brush beaters at the entrance to the field. We'll also, if we have time, we'll stop and fill the water packs. However, firefighters say brush and grass fires can easily be avoided if we all just pay attention to what we do on a hot summer day like this one. And one other thing to take note, if there is a drought warning issued, you should understand the proper procedure and policy for controlled burn in your area if that is something you are allowed to do. Covering the corridor tonight in Cedar Rapids, Kelsey Weiner, CBS 2 News. All right, thanks, Kelsey.